Okay, it's day two. Uh, a little nervous Jay from Taylor is coming down to watch the first vlog. Uh, and then we're gonna upload. Um, I am running extremely late. I'm supposed to be on a panel at noon. I'm supposed to be there half an hour ahead of time to go over what's gonna be in the PowerPoint for the panel and stuff. Um, it's 11.16 and I still have to go over to the convention center and like get my badge, so I'll make it in time for the panel, but the rest of it probably not. Sorry guys. Sorry, my room looks like I'm in middle school. Andy's a really crappy musician, isn't he? It's the worst. Right? It's terrible. It's like, put anything in his hands and he's bad at it. Yeah. Uh, Equally bad at everything. Uh, Equally bad. I'm, uh, I'm gonna head up to breakfast and then <laughs> I, will, uh, I will talk to you. Uh, so, first reaction to, to, to vlog one. It's good. Yeah, right? it's outstanding. It was good. I think you're all gonna like it. It was good. We're gonna make a couple changes and post it a little later. I have to go right now. humid the lens is fogged up I'm walking to Music City Center I gotta go get my badge and then I gotta get on this panel I'm literally supposed to be on a panel in 15 minutes I feel bad because I'm super super late hopefully uh, I make it to the panel in time I'm still gonna have to get mic'd up they can just I guess they'll hand me a handheld maybe this will be interesting hopefully I don't screw up this whole panel If so, I'll just buy everybody a beer. It'll be fine. I think I'm gonna make it though. I'm optimistic. I'm trying to be optimistic here. Goal in sight, I think I'm gonna be okay. We'll see. Hey, what's up? What's up? Good to see ya. I made it. Okay, so, panel was super successful. I'm gonna head up to the Taylor booth. See what kind of awesome stuff is going on up there. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. How are you, sir? Good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How you doing? How you doing? Hey. How you doing? Yeah. Forget about it. Forget about it. So I'm hanging here with my friend um, JR from Taylor, and one of the things that Taylor always does that's really cool um, is they're always like really awesome NAM exclusive guitars and and custom guitars and things like that. And so I wanted him to, to give me a rundown of these because I really haven't seen this stuff yet. And, and it's always really exciting, I think, for everybody to see the, the really cool, um, interesting twists on things they do that are, that are exclusive to this show. So, uh, JR, if you can, just show us a little bit of, uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on here. All right, we're making two models exclusive to the dealers that visit the Summer NAMM show. Uh, there won't be many of these built, I would say under 100 of each model, that's a guess. Uh, we'll see how, how uh, the show goes, but uh, the first model is a 416 CE limited edition, Grand Symphony body, maple back and sides. They're all gonna have three piece back, beautiful fiddle back maple, play maple, gotta love it. Black binding, four millimeter dots, uh, this tobacco sunburst finish is going to be throughout the entire guitar, so top, back, sides, and neck. Uh, we're also doing a 12th fret model. The 12th fret is exciting because one of the first things you probably notice about it, it's got a standard peg head. Most of our 12th fret models have the slotted peg head, so there are some folks that prefer a standard peg head when they go to restring the guitar, and it's also a little, little bit of a different tone. But again, it's going to have flame maple back and side, three-piece back and tobacco sunburst on the entire guitar. Uh, these are uh, going to be shipping in the next 60 to 90 days and be only available at dealers that visit the Summer NAMM show here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm here with my, my good friend Joe Ravita. What's up? And we're going to walk through the booth a little bit and talk about some of 
the new guitars um, that Joe likes the best. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Some things he's maybe going to get in stock for his shop. I just wanted to kind of walk through with his expert eye and talk about some of the things that he likes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over so Joe can tell you about things. <laughs> What's going on? So we're here, Taylor Booth for Summer Nam, and we're gonna see some new Summer Limiteds. We're gonna see a new Builders Edition, which is really great. And that's actually what's beside me right here, the new Builders Edition 614 CE. Um, they come in two finishes, a natural and then a burst. Um, the Builders have done amazing. The, the Koa one's really, really sounds amazing. It's great, silent uh, satin finish on it, so nice and quiet. This one though is gonna feature maple back and sides, which is stunning. The finish on it's outrageous. Um, Torrified top, so nice and broken in. I'd play it for you, but you can't hear anything in here, but I'll take our word for it. This is a stunner. We're gonna have both of these coming in in the new finish, so we're super pumped about those. Um, if you've been after one of these, they're gonna be really hard to get, so you can definitely reach out to your dealers locally um, or us, and we can help you out because they're gonna be hard to get, so you can probably pre-order them at your local shop. I know we are, so super instruments. We're super pumped about these. All right, so GS Mini Basses really, really have done well. Taylor, it's the, one of the coolest instruments that they make. A lot of fun, great for guitar players, awesome for bass players. They sound color plugged in. Well, here is the sneak peek at the new Maple back and sides. Uh, looks killer, sounds awesome, really punchy. They rip through amplifiers though, which is really a fun thing that you'll find out when you plug them in. They just sound huge. So if you like to plug them in, they're awesome, but they definitely have enough juice to uh, to play unplugged with your acoustic guitar buddies. So keep an eye out for these. Okay, this is the showstopper. Presentation um, was redone this year with a redwood top, and they've been using African ebony. This is a super limited Milagro Brazilian back and side model. I know that this is highly limited, I believe under 25 units, it might be 15 units, a really small allotment, sounds outrageous. Brazilian is obviously um, super sought after and probably the most collectible tone wood for acoustic guitars. And the Milagro is just a really special piece, really great history of the Milagro, you know, really special part of the forest. So it has its own unique characteristics that are uh, that make the guitar sound phenomenal. And the Redwood Top is just bananas. It's like really, really gorgeous. Gotta have one, we got one. So one will be coming this year. I don't know when, these are gonna be real slow and rolling out. So if you're after one, We'll keep an eye out for them because they're not going to last long. Top of the line presentation model, so super pumped about it. So that's it for today. Um, it was a great show day. Uh, I had a really good time seeing everybody. It was great seeing Joe Ravita and, and JR and a bunch of the guys from Taylor and my friend Mike Venezia, who's a, a rep. Mike used to be my rep, as did half the guys at Taylor, really, because I was a dealer for a long time. Um, but it was a really fun day at the show. I'm really looking forward to seeing what tomorrow brings and what we get into. We'll see you tomorrow.